uh, hi, I have a stammer. I started to stammer at about the age of three. That's more or less the average age. And there isn't any evidence that stammering is caused by some traumatic event. And indeed, in my own case, my parents were very caring towards me. Apparently, when they asked the doctor, he said, don't worry, he'll grow out of it. Uh, but of course, I didn't. Uh, so I went into th 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 therapy at the age of 10, which was far too long afterwards. We now know that at that age, after seven years of stammering, it's very unusual for a child to recover completely. That's because we now also know uh, that the root cause of stammering is a neurological flaw, a kind of faulty wiring in the brain which makes it difficult for us to control the fluency of our speech. But I can sing fluently because s singing is controlled by a different part of the brain. Bye, bye, Miss American Pie, drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing, This'll be the day that I die, this'll be the day that I die. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I can also speak like a Dalek, and that works pretty well, because I am putting a very heavy rhythm into my speech, which gives my brain a kind of rhythmical track on which to ride. It's much the same, although maybe not quite so effective if I read poetry. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night, what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Uh, when I was very young, my stammer was mainly one of r r repetitions. Uh, but as I grew older, the social tensions involved in trying to speak became greater, and so I began to block as opposed to repeat those difficult sounds. So I sometimes do a strange thing uh, called the, the voluntary st st stammering, which I know sounds like a really <laughs> stupid idea, but it helps me to b b bounce through those sounds, usually for me hard c c consonants, on which I feel I'm likely to block. I can also overcome it, uh, but only for short periods, by speaking in a different way. For example, I can speak on a Scottish accent, I can speak in a, a Northern Irish accent, a Newcastle accent, et aussi je peux parler en français. But unfortunately, my brain soon realises that it's being fooled, and the underlying neurological uncertainty reasserts itself and my fluency breaks down. Very few adult stammerers have overcome their stammer completely, but many like me have managed to improve their speech by using speech therapy techniques. So if a stammerer can find a speech th 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 therapist who specialises in stammering, it's always, always worth trying it not just because it can help us to control our speech, but because usually it also helps us to accept our stammering, to be open about it. Because trying to hide anything in life from other people usually increases the tension, and that tends for us to make the stammering worse. It's not easy to be open, however, because many of us are very much aware that people think stammering is a sign of l lower intelligence or a weak character. So stammering not only makes it difficult to speak, um, it's also terribly m misunderstood, which is why many stammerers are reluctant to speak openly, and therefore they risk being isolated from society. Those are two, just two of the main reasons why there are over 700,000 stammers in the UK, more than 3 million in the States, and around 70 million in the world. Yet, you hardly ever hear anyone stammering, and not surprisingly, there are virtually no high-profile high stammerers. And of course, there is still no cure. A few people 
know that stammering is a neurologically based communications disorder, not a personality disorder. But the symptoms often make it look more like the latter than the former. We don't stammer because we are nervous, but we can be nervous because we stammer.